Number 11. If A is the degree measure of an acute angle and the sine of A equals 0.8, then the cos of 90 minus A. So they're dealing with the rule here that if we have a right triangle, 90 degree angle here, obviously, and we have two angles, we'll go with A and B. We know that if A plus B, and this is a rule, equals 90, that the sine of the one angle will equal the cosine of the other angle. And the opposite is also true. The cosine of A will equal the sine of B. For example, if we have a 3, 4, 5, which um, we actually do here at the point 8, but let's make it correct then. That would make this angle be A and this be B, 3, 4, 5. Here, the sine of A, 0.8, which is equal to 4 fifths, the sine of A equals 4 over 5, the same way that we take the cosine of B here, adjacent over hypotenuse, the cos of B equals 4 fifths. Now, if A plus B equals 90, we can say that we have B, or we have angle A, rather, and then B would be the same as 90 minus A. So the sine of A has to equal the cosine of B or 90 minus A, which is the same thing. So this is sort of like a little trick problem. The sine of A is 0.8, and so is the cosine of 90 minus A, which is the cos of the other angle in the right triangle. So 0.8 is the correct answer. Now, if you want to do it with your calculator, you're welcome to do it out. You can say that the sine of a equals 0.8. You can take the inverse sine of both sides and when we do so we should make sure that we're in degrees since the problem is in degrees. And so second sine 0.8 equals, this makes A equal approximately 53.13 degrees. And Now I can plug this into here, the cosine of 90 minus A, which is 53.13 degrees. And when you plug this in your calculator, you're taking the cosine of, let's see, uh, 36.86, which you will find will also equal 0.8, like I said before. It's a good rule to know there, this sine of A equals the cos of B business.